Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck. Today we are going to speak about why New World will probably not expand soon, at least during one year or eight, eight months, maybe a bit more. It's really hard to say, but I'm going to explain why I think like that, and I don't want you guys to think it's a negative video, I guess. On my part, it's sad a bit because I wanted to keep playing this game and have content, but like, they just don't are not really gonna have content for the next year or plus. But I guess in a year or two, well, when you all gonna come back, maybe I'm gonna be happy to have this game to come back on with all those good changes they're gonna do. So yeah, let's dive straight into this. So the new world file size. Ah, uh, the file size. We all know this been a problem on console since the start of console with file size because at the start it was just something you put in the console and it worked now it like there's it file size and this is something huge when you think about it like um if i take my best friend who's playing on ps5 he was a playstation 3 playstation 4 user what is he have to do he have to buy like that external hard drive just to be able to have his game stored in and sometimes that hard drive like is kid just dropping on the floor and it stopped working stuff like that so um, it's uh, I think those hard drive for console can cost a lot too because it's like a PS4 hard drive or I don't know if they made a new for PS5 and that you can take almost any hard drive but the old one it was complicated and I'm pretty sure PlayStation make it complicated to an Xbox they want to make money they're gonna make hard drive PlayStation and well, I guess so. So, uh, yeah, the file size is a big problem for PC users. It's not even a problem. Give me a 300 gig game, a gig game, I'm gonna be happy. Like, let's go 200 gig. I'm gonna put it in my PC. It's gonna work. 200 gig. If you put it on your console, it's done. So, this is why I'm one of the most, the one of the biggest reason that I think it's not gonna work. Um, mostly that there's the ps4 too new, new world war on ps4 for some reason i don't know how they're gonna manage to do war without lagging they are gonna lag for sure like their console gonna explode during a war or something uh so yeah so imagine they want to cater to the ps4 and ps5 and the xbox people so they're gonna keep the file the file small like smaller the file is easier the game is to sell on console and on PC it doesn't matter but now they want to get to console people and this is why the biggest reason why I think there's not gonna be any expansion but yeah so uh, let's talk about the graphical like if we really want some graphical improvement it's the game is on PS4 like it's on PS4 we cannot really have better graphic than that on PS4 so like uh, I'm really wondering if they're gonna be able to keep it a console game and upgrade the graphics so now I think that the graphic gonna stay like that uh, the file style is gonna stay um, around the same so what they're gonna do if they don't want to make the file size bigger they're just gonna make they're gonna change the territory like they did on first light first light become like uh, Elysian wild and then they're gonna take Cutlass and they're gonna make uh, the PvP zone and then they're gonna take another and make another zone and then they're just gonna change their zone like this so they don't have to make the file size bigger. So yeah, adding weapons. I think maybe we're gonna have a new weapon in one in this year, maybe yeah, I think this year that could be logic if we have a, a one weapon maximum in a year. Uh I don't see more than that happen and maybe there's not gonna be a weapon. I think it's a year since they did not put any new weapon. They added the flail. So yeah, they are due to put one and yeah, I think uh, this is one of the update we're gonna see. Uh, adding skill, like the, like the music, they added the music. They're gonna probably add some skill like this, but uh, it's kind of weird because the space, they're gonna... Hit, I don't know man like if they want to add skill they're gonna have to add other stuff into the game and they don't have the file size to do it and if they want to add some resource for those skills there's some resource so like everywhere in the game right now they, they added so much resource that a casual player can just run and have a lot of war and everything you want so 
If they want to add new material, they're gonna have to take existing resource and swap it for the new resource. So it's gonna make lower of the old resource to get more of the new, and then it's gonna create a disbalance into the economy. Uh, because they don't want to get more space. You know the fire, it's important. So the 3v3 map and the OPR map. If they was willing to expand the game, it would be one of the first thing they would send us. Uh, 3v3 map, OPR map, uh, they, they talk about raid, a raid, but raid it's just because it's easier to sell the game if they keep putting PvE content and the P PvP I feel like they forget it. So yeah, the devs are clueless. Uh, I, I suggest you to go look the devs playing Dynasty Mutation. It takes for them a 1 hour and 10 minutes just to complete the dungeon. I think, I, I'm not even sure if they completed it at the end. I think they got kicked off it. I don't remember. I don't, I did not even want to watch the full thing. It's so painful to watch one of those devs play the game, man. They are so bad. Alright. So, uh... What they're gonna do instead of releasing content, like I said, they're gonna swap resource, uh, they're gonna modify something already existing, like some kill. Uh, they're gonna nerf the meta, change the meta to create like a flow and a rhythm to make sure that the people play with all the weapon and they don't get too much bored, even if they are. Um, the devs don't reply real question. When you're gonna see that video that they are like reading question, it's almost like them with fake account to, like typing them. Like nobody like like they don't even reply properly to all the questions we ask and they don't even deliver like if I take Call of Duty as example, Call of Duty is trying, you see. You can see Call of Duty is trying. I I, I smell the sweat of the Call of Duty employee to my house. They are working hard and when I see New World Dev like they are working for Amazon and... So oh, man, it's so bad man. So yeah, performance is uh, in war, it's almost unfixable. And then uh, like I mean I have a and uh, sorry, I have a ADM 6700 XT and 32 gig of RAM and my FPS still go like to 45 when I'm into Glam. So someone on a PS4, like I, you're not gonna be able to play War on PS4. Like if you're able to play War on PS4 and be in the middle of a clump and you got no lag, man, I just don't understand because your PS4 is stronger than my fucking 4,000 buck PC or something. But it was 4,000 buck a couple of years ago. But you know it. Uh, so. There's no announcement about new zone, they announced just the PvP zone and now they put the game in beta. So the fact that the game is in beta, they don't need to release content. So they are like working in the game, the beta it can last one to four years. Like we've seen some game being beta during four years, so during the, all that time they don't really need to release content, it's like fixing issue, fixing issue, fixing issue and they, they just We've been already in beta during three years and now we're gonna get a longer beta. There is no announcement. Uh, maybe new dungeon, new raid. No support for war and OPR people. There's only gonna be meta shift. The other thing, they don't really care about you. Uh, the money system, how the money is distributed between the territory and all that shit. Hey, I, I don't think we're gonna work that, that much on that. It's kind of working, but at the same time, it's not working at all. So, yeah. Uh, the gear score increased. Uh, what happened is, you know, when they released Elysian Wild, they put a gear score increase. I think it's for the, the 625 one. Uh, or maybe it was not. A, well, when they put an expansion, when they release big content, it's when they. They increase the gear score, but since they, they are increasing the gear score now, like in a couple days in New World of Eternum, uh, that just means the gear score gonna stay 725 during a really, really long time. So during all that time, they're not gonna really add new content because they want to add new content with new item, with new with the new gear score system and 
having those items that drop and the, you see like it, having that gear score system like that that just means it's it's stuck right now they are stuck and they are just trying to release it to, to sell as much copy as they can because they are stuck i don't know when they're gonna be able to to like release real content uh, I really hope because I love New World. I want this game to succeed. If I'm like a bit raging about it, it's because I really want this game to succeed. I really like it. I have three accounts. I, I spend a lot of time and effort in this game. I love it. I really want them, them to succeed. But you know, more I see than act, more I'm losing hope in them. But you know, they are human, and more you're gonna look at human being, more you're gonna lose hope in them too. So. I wish everyone a good day, tell someone you love them, peace out.